Hello, and welcome to this month's edition of InDesign Newsletter, where I teach you tips and tricks and just different things that you can do inside of InDesign. Who am I? I am Andrea Beth Lathan. I'm an Adobe Community Professional. I'm also a graphic and web design instructor for a community college. So now that you know who I am, let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen. And hopefully you are seeing, it looks like you're seeing my screen. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna celebrate Father's Day. And so our, you know, because it's here, it's awesome. It's an awesome day and I love it. It's actually one of my favorite days to celebrate because I love my father and my husband is an amazing father and I know a whole lot of awesome dads. So um, we're gonna celebrate Father's Day. And so our technique for this week is pretty much just how to add text to photos, okay? So it's pretty simple. All right, so we have this um, image and this image comes from Adobe Stock, which is amazing. And there are over 70,000 free um, assets on Adobe Stock uh, for you to use. So definitely check it out if you haven't checked it out but it's also inside of the program. And there are several videos that I've gone over before in the past that um, go over uh, Adobe Stock and how to get the video and how to license, license it and all of that fun jazz. Okay, so we have this image um, of a father and, and a baby and he's reading to the baby and I just love it so much. So I absolutely had to use this image, okay? So to create a text and it is super easy, all you do is go to your type tool and then you're going to draw out. So with InDesign, you have to draw out a text box. So I'm just gonna actually I'm gonna hit W so we can see our um so we can see our margins. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw out just mm, this text box. And I'm going to, I know the font that I want to use, but let me just go ahead and type happy father's day. Okay, so happy Father's Day. And I'll go ahead and, okay. And so what I'm gonna do is I wanna change this font and I think it's Active, A-K-T, Active Grotesque X. All right, and I want to make this, it has several um, different weights. I'm gonna go for a medium with this one. And I definitely need to boost that up. I don't know how much that I'm thinking. Mm, let's go up some more. Let's just see exactly where that looks good. Okay. And another thing that I want to do with this one is I don't want it to be, I'm going to change the, um, I'm going to change it from regular case to, I want to make like, let's see, this is what it looks like at all caps. I do like that. I like how neat it is. And this is how it looks like with small caps. And I kind of like that. So I think... I'm going to go with small caps. Let me see. This is all caps. I don't know which one I like better. Hmm. All right. So I'm going to pull this out and we'll just see. Mm. I think I like small caps because I kind of like the, oops, oops. I have, yep. This is something to be careful with too. I was, this is the last box I was in. So everything I do, it was switching. Okay. So I'm going to try to. Uh, let me go scroll down a little bit and I'm going to go with small caps. I do like that. Yeah, I do like that. All right. So I think I'm going to go with small caps. Okay. And then as I look at this, let me go ahead and. Okay. So what I did, I just realized I didn't tell you what I did. I just click on the bottom right so that the text box resizes around that text. I'm gonna make it a little bit larger just for a second because I'm actually gonna add a stroke. I am not a fan of stroking text, but I'm showing you different techniques. So we're gonna stroke this text, but we're gonna do it kind of classy. So I'm gonna click on the stroke and I'm gonna go up maybe two points and it's gonna look horrible. You see how it's taken away from it, but I'm actually going to, let me see. Yeah, it just looks horrible, it just looks horrible. But it's not gonna look as bad in a second because I'm gonna position this type where I want it and where I want it is in the in this area about here. 
And the only reason I stroked it, and there's several other effects that we could do too. The only reason I did a stroke on it is so that if it does go over uh, any of uh, like the baby or anything like that, I have that white uh, stroke behind it. So that's all. All right. And I didn't make it too crazy. I only did two points. Don't judge me. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and close that up a little bit. I do like how that's looking. Yeah. I do like that one. Okay. So I'm going to do another text box. Okay. So we can get in practice. Let's go ahead and choose a type tool. And I have a quote that I want to use in here. Let me see if I can find what I did with that quote. That would be good. There it is. Okay. So I have a quote. I just went on Google and searched for it. So it's on my other monitor. All right. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. I love this quote. Um, I actually fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. So I'm going to go ahead and change that font to the AKT Active Grotesque. And then I want this to be, I think, light. And then I'm going to boost that up a bit. Um, maybe. We'll see. This. Okay, I'm gonna, yep, I think I like that. Now I'm going to bring this over just to the edge. And so what I might want to do is, I'm definitely gonna give this text an inset and that also allows me to introduce something else um, to you guys, to you all as well. But I think I want to, let's add a color behind this box. So typically, you know, you can add color by actually putting a box behind it and then putting the text on top. I like that approach too. But in this approach, I'm going to try to put the text directly in the text box. Ooh. So I'm going to click on the box, make sure that's selected. I'm going to go over here to my parents panel and where it says fill, I'm going to fill this box with white okay so now i have white inside of that but what i want to do is i want to match the white that's kind of already in the um photo so i'm going to get my eyedropper and i'm going to sample the white that's in here so that it turns that white and Okay, so I'm going to click on this and I'm going to hit W. Okay, and right off the bat, some things I noticed. I noticed that I don't like how this is coming all the way against the edge of this box. So I'm going to hit W again. I'm going to select this box and I'm going to go for my type options. So I'm going to go up here to object. I'm going to go down to text frame options. And then I'm going to move this over. I'm going to make sure preview is selected. And I'm going to give it an inset on all sides. There we go. I think maybe that's a little bit much. Let's try eight. All right. I'm going to hit OK. And I am liking how this is coming out. So what I am noticing is that my um, I lost some of my text. So that's telling me that I have a cramped space. So let me just go ahead and see if I can fix that. OK. I like that a little bit. Um, there we go. And so another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the alignment just a bit. And I think I want to, so right now it's left aligned. That means that everything is lined up to this left edge. I want to align it to the right edge because I like living on the edge. So I'm going to choose this justify aligned right yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want. Now you're like, uh, yeah, but that's not looking like I'd want it to look. And that's okay. So what I want is the name to be down here below. And this is actually looking almost like I want it to look. But I'm going to go ahead with the name and I'm going to make the name. I'm going to make a few changes on this one. I'm going to make the name a bit smaller. And I want to give it just a little bit of space between the um, dash and the name. So I'm going to hold option because I'm on a Mac. But if you're on a PC, you would hold alt. 
And then the left and right keys that are right next to the M, so the left bracket and right bracket, sorry, yeah, angle bracket, left angle bracket, right angle bracket, or greater than sign and less than sign that are right next to the M on the keyboard that's to the right. I'm going to increase the space. Oops. Okay, let's see. Oops. Hmm. Where are my arrow keys? <laughs> okay. Yep. Wrong keys. So sorry. Told you the angle brackets. Wrong keys. It is the left and right arrow keys are how you can increase um, your tracking and kerning. So I'm going to increase it. There we go. And see how I'm adding that space. So if I go crazy, so again, I'm holding the option and the right arrow key, and I'm just going crazy. But really, this is really what I was after. Let's give it a little bit of space. Okay, yep. I like that. That makes me happy. So again, it's not the greater than less than sign. I don't even know why I said that. It's a day. But it is the left and right arrow keys. All right, so... I like how this is looking. Um, it's a little tight in here. So I might grab that and I might try to go up uh, without breaking it. Let's see. There we go. So this is some of the things when you're dealing with justified text, but I actually think that looks um, pretty good. So I'm not super upset with that. Okay, so let's see. All right, so the last thing that I want to do is I'm going to move this down just a little bit. And I'm going to move this one down. I like it to touch the top of that. And I like it to go in and meet up with the um, with the quote. So I'm going to hit W so I can see what this is looking like and make sure I'm liking it. And I am. I am. So this is our Happy Father's Day card. We have some, we have the title for Happy Father's Day. We have this nice quote. Um, we did a little bit of formatting. Um, we also did some aligning um, of the type. Um, and that's pretty much it. That is how you combine or add type to an image. Voila. Wasn't that easy? I know you guys are like, wow, too easy. So on that note, let me go ahead and get myself together here. And I hope you enjoyed uh, the tip that I showed you today. Um, again, if you want to get in touch with me, this is my contact information for Instagram, Behance, and YouTube. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you um, And if you want to tell me why you like it, what you like about it, I totally appreciate comments. They make me happy. And if you want to make me even happier, if you subscribe and hit that subscribe button, that would be even awesome. All right. So until next month's video, ta-ta for now. Ta-ta, ta-ta, ta-ta.